Jean Piaget, The Psychology of Intelligence. Welcome to the fascinating world of The Psychology of Intelligence by Jean Piaget. In this enriching book, Piaget seeks to answer the complex question of what intelligence is. Delve into his theories and experimental research with children to understand how intelligence functions as actions performed by humans throughout various stages of cognitive development. You will discover how Piaget's concepts of accommodation and assimilation, as well as the search for equilibrium, drive our interactions with the environment and our overall cognitive growth. This summary will provide you with a clear comprehension of these topics and their significance in understanding intelligence. Piaget's Definition of Intelligence in 1942, Piaget questioned what intelligence truly is. He rejected earlier theories that believed intelligence is the acquisition and correction of information, instead, he found that children actively construct knowledge through exploratory actions. Piaget concluded that intelligence is action, defining it as the mental actions that toddlers and children perform when they poke, prod, pull, rotate, order, and compare different things in their minds. The Power of Adaptation The book delves into how adaptation governs all interactions between organisms and their environments. Piaget's research showed that both passive and active adaptations could transform organisms. Digestion is an example of passive accommodation, while assimilation actively structures the environment. These ideas extend beyond physical interactions, as they also shape our cognitive relationship with the world. In the early 20th century, a young biologist named Piaget set out to understand how organisms adapt to their environment. He discovered that adaptation is the key to all interactions between living organisms and their surroundings. Piaget's research showed that when a plant or animal is taken from its original environment, it adapts to its new surroundings to improve its energy supply or to protect itself from external forces. For example, Succulents grow more leaves when taken to a cooler area, and snails develop rounder shells in response to being placed in fast-moving streams. Passive accommodation is one way that organisms adapt to their environment. An example of this is our digestive system reacting when we eat something. Our body responds by releasing acids to aid digestion. This change is relatively passive, but the organism is still adapting. The second way organisms adapt is called assimilation. This occurs when an organism's structure actively reshapes the environment around it. For example, when we eat an apple, our stomachs transform the apple into a substance that is compatible with our bodies, which is energy. Adaptation goes beyond physical interactions and also shapes our cognitive relationship with the world. These active and passive adaptations are transformative, as they change the structure of the organism to suit its environment. Overall, Piaget showed that adaptation governs how all living organisms interact and survive in their environment. Piaget's Theory on Organizing Knowledge Piaget's theory rejects the idea of a separation between the mind and the world and proposes that adaptation is both physiological and cognitive. The key message is that we organize knowledge to adapt cognitively to the world. Piaget posited the existence of schemata, organized units of knowledge about the world, to explain how we do this organizing. These schemata are stored in a kind of cognitive filing cabinet and consulted when we interact with our environment. As we gain more experience, new experiences are stored away as visual representations linked to specific memories and combined to create a behavioral script. However, the development of such complex schemata is only possible after much cognitive development. Cognitive Development Through Assimilation and Accommodation The renowned psychologist, Piaget, believed that cognitive development is driven by assimilation and accommodation. Assimilation is the process of incorporating new information into existing mental structures or schemata, while accommodation involves modifying or creating new schemata. Piaget's observation of a young child's misidentification of a squirrel as a dog exemplifies assimilation. As the child encountered a new stimulus, he imposed his dog's schema on the squirrel, charting it onto his mental map of the world. 
Accommodation, on the other hand, occurs when new stimuli do not fit existing schemata. This process can either create new schemata to fit the stimuli or modify existing schemata to include them. Both assimilation and accommodation are crucial in driving cognitive development. As we assimilate more stimuli, our schemata grow and adapt. However, we also need to accommodate new information to make our organization of knowledge useful. Through these two processes, we improve our mental capacity to respond appropriately to an ever-increasing number of situations. Responding to the environment According to Piaget, our responses to the environment can be either external or internal. These responses are determined by our needs. The aim is to create equilibrium between ourselves and our surroundings, which is achieved through cognition. This equilibrium creates a state of balance that allows us to assimilate stimuli into existing schemata. When we encounter stimuli that cannot be assimilated into our schemata, we experience disequilibrium and must strive to restore balance through the process of equilibration. This cycle of assimilation and accommodation leads to intellectual breakthroughs that allow us to solve increasingly complex problems. Piaget's research led him to divide these breakthroughs into specific developmental stages, which will be explored in upcoming summaries. Discovering the World, A Journey from Infancy Infants are born with innate sensorimotor functions that enable them to explore the environment. As they grow, they discover the existence of independent objects, which is a crucial breakthrough in their cognitive development. According to Piaget, this discovery occurs at around eight months of age, allowing infants to understand higher-order concepts like cause and effect, which are essential for effective navigation of the world. Before this point, infants only accept the reality of what they can perceive, but once they grasp the concept of independent objects, they become more assured hunters of hidden objects, taking a first leap towards dissentiated reasoning that defines adult intelligence. Piaget's Theory of Cognitive Development Piaget's theory of cognitive development explains how children's mental abilities progress from infancy through adolescence. According to Piaget, during the pre-operational stage, ages 2 to 7, children explore the relationships between things in their environment but lack logical reasoning skills. This is because they are still egocentric and cannot see the world from another's perspective. Piaget conducted experiments with cardboard figures and found that pre-operational children struggle to recognize other viewpoints. They also have an undifferentiated temporal schema, and time is subjective to them. As they enter the concrete operational stage, ages 7 to 12, they become able to think logically about objects and events, though abstract thinking takes more time to develop. Piaget's theory is an important framework for understanding the cognitive development of children. Children's Cognitive Development Between ages 7 to 11, children undergo a crucial phase of cognitive development known as the concrete operational stage. In this stage, kids become capable of applying logical rules to physical objects but not abstract ideas. Children grasp three primary principles, conservation, reversibility, and classification. Conservation involves a child's ability to understand that objects maintain their identity despite changes in appearance, such as weight conservation. Additionally, reversibility concerns a child's ability to realize that objects can be transformed into different shapes and revert to their original form. Lastly, classification refers to a child's capacity to differentiate between subcategories and their parent categories. The concrete operational stage marks a significant milestone in a child's cognitive development as it empowers them to reason logically about physical objects. Piaget demonstrated that pre-operational children struggle to grasp these principles, while kids between ages 7 to 11 readily embrace them. Piaget's Theory of Cognitive Development Piaget's theory proposes how thought becomes abstract as it reaches maturity through hypothetical deductive reasoning as part of the formal operational stage of cognitive development. Piaget's theory of cognitive development suggests that the advent of mature intelligence is marked by the ability to solve complex problems through formal operations, which usually begin at around age 12. Unlike concrete operations, formal operations enable individuals to manipulate abstract thoughts like hypothetical problems. 
Thought processes now treat concepts as objects that can be mentally manipulated. To illustrate this, Piaget used the problem of cat sizes. The question is solved through deductive reasoning by stating the premises and logically concluding the answer. Deductive reasoning can be applied to abstract problems, allowing individuals to solve problems without physically comparing the objects brought into question. Piaget wasn't concerned with the accuracy of reasoning, but with how deductive reasoning became a logical structure for children to solve problems. Children can even work with false ideas, which is another characteristic of this stage of development. They can think as if they were true, which also helps in the work of philosophers and scientists. In summary, Piaget's theory of cognitive development shows that thought becomes increasingly abstract as it reaches maturity. This is achieved through hypothetical deductive reasoning, which is critical in allowing individuals to manipulate objects mentally, leading to the solving of more complex problems. Jean Piaget's The Psychology of Intelligence takes you on an enlightening journey through the various stages of cognitive development and their contribution to our understanding of intelligence. From the concepts of adaptation, accommodation, and assimilation to the sensorimotor, preoperational, concrete operational, and formal operational stages of cognitive growth, Piaget navigates complex theories and philosophies to reveal the intricacies of intelligence. The main takeaways are understanding that intelligence is action, that our interactions with the environment are governed by adaptation, and that the search for equilibrium propels us through discrete stages of cognitive development. With this knowledge, a deeper awareness of the processes behind human intelligence unfolds before you.